So MTP2 layer is concerned with the with the flow control also. So just in the previous lesson we saw that how the error detection is done by applying the cyclic redundancy check. Uh, in this video we will see in this tutorial we will see uh, after detecting the error what steps are taken for uh, reliable transmission of uh, SS7 packets. This reliable transmission comes from the generic philosophy called flow control. Okay. So basically when a packet is transmitted from node 1 to node 2, node 2 runs the error detection algorithm and when the algorithm uh, results into failure, it gives uh, some kind of negative acknowledgement back to the node 1 so that node 1 can retransmit the packet and this should go on till a positive acknowledgement is furnished by the node 2. This kind of mechanism is called flow control which is essential for reliable transmission of signaling units. As far as MTP2 layer is concerned, in this layer we have a, <coughs> we have a, a, a basic error correction, uh, basic error correction mechanism for uh, for the uh, for the flow control so here what happens with the, with every packet there are two fields send which are called the fsn and fib fsn stands for forward sequence number so basically it's a, it's just a jargon you can say that with every packet some kind of uh, some number needs to be sent like it is packet 1, packet 2, packet 3, packet 4 likewise, likewise in a sequential manner. So uh, this sequence of numbers they are sent in this field. This is called forward sequence number and then the uh, forward information bit. Now this forward information bit I will cover later but right now you can just say uh, you can just consider it to be a part of flow control. Okay, it's just one bit of information called uh, for the flow control. Now, uh, from the from the receiving side, so when it receives the packet and it runs the CRC algorithm to detect any error, it uh, it it needs to acknowledge there are only two possible conditions: either it's a valid packet, it's a uh, so it has to send the positive acknowledgement, or it's a it's a negative, uh, it's an error scenario, so it has to send the negative acknowledgement. So suppose that it has to send the positive acknowledgement that the packet has been received error free. So for acknowledging, for acknowledgement purpose, there are two more fields. They are called BSN and BIB. BSN is for backward sequence number which is basically same as the forward sequence number. So if suppose the receiver has to acknowledge that so and so forward so and so packet has been received positively, has been received successfully, then it will include that in the BSN number. So in the BSN number, the it will be same as the FSN number and the BIB field is going to be same as the FIB field. So let's say FIB is 1 then BIB will also be 1. If FIB is 0, then BIB is also going to be 0. So if it is same, then it means that it is a positive acknowledgement. Now suppose that the error has been received in the, in the packet. In that case, it has to send the negative acknowledgement. So the receiver will, uh, in order to send the negative acknowledgement, it will again use these two fields it will use the BSN which is same as the forward sequence number but it will use the BIB negative of the FIB. So if the FIB was 0 then it will send 1, if FIB was 1 it will send 0. So this altering uh, this uh, exactly negative bit 
in the BIB will indicate to the transmitting party that this is uh, a negative acknowledgement. So, it has to be retransmitted. Okay. So, overall the mechanism is going to be that uh, after sending the packet, the transmitter side will maintain a buffer and in that buffer, it will keep all the packets uh, along with their FSN numbers and FIBs and when it receives the positive acknowledgement, it will just remove those packets and when it receives the negative acknowledgement, it will retransmit till it receives the positive acknowledgement. This is the basic uh, error correction mechanism that is used in MTP2 layer.